the old saying that if you live by the sword, you die by the sword. The people who make heavily concentrated bets in what I would consider high risk equities make a lot of money when they work. Uh, and, uh, and you know, uh, people like Ackman are famous for their winners. Uh, but the only thing is that they don't uh, always work. In Vegas, they have an old saying, uh, the more you bet, the more you win when you win. And you can't argue with that. You know, it's absolutely true that the more you bet on your winners, the more you win. But what they don't say in Vegas is that, and the more you lose when you lose. And that's the, that's what happens with concentrated positions. And, uh, and uh, you know, this, this year and last year uh, in Valiant and in some others, Sun Edison and so forth, we've had a chance to see what happens. Um, and uh, so I think that, uh, you know, when I was a kid, one of the first things I learned in this business was the saying that there are old investors and there are bold investors, but there aren't that many old, bold investors. And uh, the people who invest boldly often get carried out. And uh, Ackman hasn't been carried out, but certainly, you know, he's in the news this last year and this year in a way he doesn't want. Um, and, you know, the interesting thing about investing is that there are many different ways to succeed. And what seems attractive to Bill Ackman, uh, uh, Ray Dalio doesn't understand how he does it or why he does it. Uh, but, but there are different ways to skin the cat. And, um, you know, uh, we all have different uh, risk tolerances, different uh, psychological makeups. And um, I think one of the most important lessons in general in investing is that we have to invest in a way that is in line with our risk tolerance. If we try to do what somebody else would do, that's a good way to get into trouble. If I, I couldn't, you know, obviously Ray saying he couldn't live the way uh, Bill invests. Uh, I couldn't live that way either. Uh, but for Bill, it seems like the right thing. And, and uh, certainly his reputation suggests that it has worked. But all things being equal, the more senior you are, the more you can concentrate. Uh, you know, if it's, it's one thing to have 20% of your fund in uh, a high volatility equity, it's something very different to have 20% of your fund in, in, a, in the senior credit instrument of a asset rich company. So I think that no matter what your risk tolerance is, as you rise in the capital structure and see there I am, I'm saying that, that, the, that the equities at the bottom, as you rise, <clears throat> then, then it's reasonable to concentrate more. But, you know, we've, we've read about people who had 30% of their fund in Valiant, 30% in other names recently, and I don't think we've ever had 30, a 30% position or would. And by the way, but part of it is that, our, you know, our clients are institutions, and they come to us for a, for a steady, consistent performance. Um, and nobody invests 30% in an individual stock uh, and and, uh, and ensure to deliver steady, consistent performance.